One of the features in Vista we'll look at now is in the attribute window is a source or receiver uh, prediction uh, tool uh, available in the attribute window. So we've got a 3D data set here, quite a small one, but it gives you an idea. Uh, we're going to go into, this is the shot receiver prediction. Again, these toolbars on the left, these just relate to going to the other tools in the attribute window. Then from here on are all the tools related to uh, uh, source or receiver prediction. Now, what I'll do is this icon here decides on whether we're in a shot or receiver prediction. So right now we're doing shot points. Uh, if you're looking at something like OBC, then you'd be doing receivers. Uh, we can define our plot parameters. So initially when I get into there, we've got the left display, which is the geometry window and on the right are a number of views. This is currently the seismic view but we can look these icon four icons relate to uh, this is the first break view so this has got the first break uh, picks defined in here. We've got an offset limit and then we've got some uh, other uh, defined areas that uh, are used to define uh, what picks aren't used. So in this region we can see these are the picks that are going to be used in the calculation prediction. So what it does is initially we've got to define a velocity field. Uh, one of the things that is I'll zoom in here and as we I'm holding the shift key down, we can see the actual first break picks. The blue line behind this is actually a quick calculation of the least square fit through this. So this gives us actually a velocity in here. So as I shift around we can see how those picks all center around here so the idea for the prediction is to pick an offset range where you've got sort of a single layer to work from uh, let's go into the options to pick the various offset ranges in there we can define them through the text or we can go into offset range or we can pick some velocities or define our top and bottom rejection zones these are these green zones where we say the picks aren't uh, valid so let's first we we'll have a quick look at the options. Uh, ability to do datum corrections, uh, time shifts of the first break, and then the displays of those predicted vectors. And we'll have a look at that in a minute. But the first thing we want to do is calculate a velocity field. Now, we can have a constant velocity that we just want to use in here with an intercept. We can use a header word to define that. Uh, generally, what you would do is calculate on the first breaks a station radius. So it's going to go out using the first breaks and come up with a velocity field. Here we've got our limit of offsets. There's some other uh, abilities to ignore records based on something, some values. And then our velocity control points are going to be our shots. So we're defining our velocity field on our shots. I'll go out. We can turn on that. This just turns on that velocity display so we can see those that velocity. We can do some smoothing on the velocity. We can read and write that velocity field. So we've got that velocity field defined now. Uh, what we can do is prediction. So I'll just skip these here and go into prediction. Given that offset range, uh, there's some other ways to ignore bad records. And I'm just going to go OK. Now we see some vectors here. We can actually see those vectors. So here's our display of our first break picks. This is a way to look at uh, traces a number of shots containing the radius and see how they compare to the current velocity. And then this is our bullseye view. So what this does is given all of the shots, because that's what we're predicting, there seems to be only two that are uh, outside of our range. Now this range is actually defined by here. We've got a minimum threshold and we can set a maximum. So that red circle is defined as 60 meters. So anything outside of 60 meters it's going to display on here and in in this display as well. So we can see if I shift key, so your broadcast, I'll click there or there. There's our two vectors that are out. Uh, now, given that we've predicted that, let's have a look at what we can do. Uh, if we go back to our shots and we're going to select on that, one of the things I know here actually is that we've got some duplicate shots. So let's just turn that on. It's interesting that the two uh, predicted are on duplicate shots, but let's just zoom into this one. If I click now with the duplicate shots, we see we've got actually two records. That initial one seems okay. This 
this one seems yeah there's a there's a problem so let's look at what we can do so again these are displays here's our calculation here's our move so what we can do is click on there we go into move mode for sources I right click to select a particular source and now I know the first one isn't the problem it's this one now I've got this uh, dragging of the source so it's affecting the offset in the display and you can see it's predicting it to be here now in this window we can actually see the first breaks we can see this is where they are here and this is where it's predicting it to be uh, to place a vector we just right click and now we've got it placed in there we could scroll down to that other one we can right click and select that one we can see that's position and then shift key and select it there so that that's a way to actually go into a data set and actually it's quite a good QC to find bad data as you'll see with larger 3D's or uh, larger 3D's will locate bad shots now I've moved this I'm only looking at receivers receivers work the same way so we've got our predicted stations we can see a list of predicted that's these vectors but we also, so this is predicted, we also have moves. We can actually take all of the predicted vectors and just set them to moves. So right now I've got a set of two moves, ASCII file. If I now apply the set, what that's going to do is take that move that's defined and set those sources to those positions. So that, that will correct it. So you can either do that or you can save the text file and run a flow. So that's a, a quick rundown of a very powerful tool uh, under the attribute window of prediction. So that's a quick overview of the prediction source and receiver tool and attribute window.